Hey everybody, Jeff here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over why bullet holes are such a huge thing here at Rainbow Six Siege's meta, and I'm going to show you some truly amazing bullet holes that can get you tons of kills and make the enemy team rage as much as they possibly can. And I'll be honest, guys, bullet holes are actually like kind of like OP, like very, very overpowered, and... I mean, if left unchecked, and I see it pro league all the time, bullet holes are just, they're, they're so favored to one side. Whoever creates the bullet hole has such a huge, huge, huge advantage over the other person who has no idea what's happening that it's really unfair. And you guys will be seeing in some of these examples that I'll be doing that like you cannot see the hole at all. You can very easily see punch holes. When you take the end of your gun and make a punch hole in the wall, like those are actually really easy to see. But when you put like one, two little tiny bullet holes in a wall, it's impossible for the other person to see you guys are gonna be truly amazed on how invisible these bullet holes really are so the way we're gonna break down this video I'm going to be going into three separate maps and custom matches some of these maps I feel you can utilize bullet holes a lot and some of them really common yet some of them you probably have never seen before all right with all the intros out of the way let's just get right into our first map example here in this video all right everybody so for our first map example here in the video I took you guys over to theme park now this is not a very fan favorite map to say the least but I did notice that there is a ton of different bullet hole spots on this map so I know this map sucks not a lot of people like it maybe now that you're going to know some of these bullet hole spots I'm gonna show you that it might make the map a little more enjoyable so for our first one over here on the top of yellow stairs I do this one and this is a very very common one so just a lot of people do this if I'm ever playing daycare you bet I'm going to be the rook and I'm sitting on the top of yellow this bullet hole right here is such a powerful spot because on top of yellow stairs with this bullet hole right here very discreet not a a big punch hole like this is very discreet you're going to see the window out to cafe let me show you what i mean all right so let me break this window so it's a lot easier to see now i want to show you guys the difference between a really a good bullet hole and a punch hole that is very obvious this even with i made i made quite a few bullet holes like so i should have only made one but i put a couple and that's still very very i mean that blends in so well so we're gonna be able to see an angle all the way out over here now this is very obvious someone's gonna look at this and they're gonna shoot immediately but that little tiny little bullet hole right there no one's gonna be able to see that so let me show you why bullet holes are such a huge advantage for the person making the bullet hole rather than the person who is on the other side of things now look what we can see we can see all the way out cafe door now i do this all the time i can't tell you how many kills i've gotten through this right here now if we go through here yeah yeah you're able to see a lot more in this one but this is a very obvious punch hole as opposed to this very tiny little bullet hole so i made a couple more throughout this map over here um mainly specifically over an office um this is a really good bullet hole all the way into past bathroom so if you get down right behind this desk now it's gonna be really hard to see on your phone or the device that's bathroom right there so if i do that ping that is bathroom and that is actually exactly at head level so if someone were to round this corner and look watch guys this you are not seeing this like like you have to get really close to even realize someone's behind that so if someone's rounding the corner through bathroom or for the showers they're not going to see that and they're going to get shot before i mean like if you just look at it it's so powerful bullet holes are so op they're they're gonna get shot and they're not gonna know also i wanted to show you guys another difference between a punch hole and bullet holes over here so right here this door right here is a very very common entry point especially if you're defending initiation now if you're aiming right here you know you might get the jump on the guy if they don't drone you out and you can actually get a kill pretty easily but now if you get on this bullet hole right here like they are gonna have such a hard time seeing you as opposed to that and you can still see a decent amount and if you get good enough you can make the bullet holes at head level you can only have to pop off one shot here's the example that's the bullet hole it doesn't even look like it's broken and that's the punch hole also i put another one over here this is a very common one this is probably a little dangerous because of the hatch over there on top of dragon but i did put a bullet hole right here and you could see the door entry so if you are uncomfortable say if you're defending initiation that was reinforced as long as someone's watching your back or you got a val camera right there you get down to this bullet oh, where'd i put it see they're so hard to see i can't even see it there it is you can see the uh door over there also there's another really good spot for defending initiation all the way back there on b bomb on the daycare objective you get all the way back here now this is i, I did make a ton of holes so uh excuse me but like I, you could see that right there's the bomb that, that's the bomb right there so let me ping it yep there it is that's the yellow bomb oh i just saw this this is actually a really good angle if you're attacking the daycare objective 
because they're not gonna be able to see this if you make a couple bullet holes say you're on attack and you're over there and you're and there's someone anchoring behind this bomber here which is very very common as soon as they peek out over here they're not gonna be able to see this bullet hole and you're gonna kill them so basically anywhere where you think you could get a line of sight and there's a soft wall next to it you should definitely go for it so i'm just gonna do this one for example it's very common for someone to sit behind right there so i'm going to get behind this soft wall right here lay down i don't even have to lay down i'm gonna stand up and there it is right there that's exactly where we were looking at earlier and still uh there it is really hard really hard to see you saw clear as day that purple background right there so just some really powerful spots also i just thought another really good one all the way back here you can see the top of yellow stairs if you were to lie down right here i mean just look at this this is just cheating i mean come on you can see all the way yellow stairs and that's the tiny hole you made like that is just ridiculous okay the time's ending we're gonna head on to the next map for the video all right everybody so for our second map example here in the video i brought you guys over to coastline now we're gonna make this one really really fast because i don't want the video to be too too long and i'm already halfway through on my 10 minute preparation phase or 10 minute action phase so right here at service entrance i made a bullet hole right here looking into main lobby i'm gonna show you where that ping lands that ping lands over there at the main lobby door so that's a really really good bullet hole look they they can't see it at all so that's a really really good one now the bomb's gonna be in the way for this one but all the way say the bomb is in here and someone's pushing to service entrance that hole now this one's slightly more obvious i think i used three bullets for this one if you were able to get away with one bullet for this it'll be so discreet and right there that's the entrance right there that's the door so a really really good one i'm gonna take you guys over to sunrise here because i feel like this is a good one for sunrise right here now down there i know it's all white it's really hard to see but all the way down there that ping goes all the way to this entrance over there okay now i bet you guys didn't expect me to make a bullet hole in courtyard yeah that's right so i'm gonna turn around right here to this bullet hole i made in courtyard and you're never gonna guess where this leads all the way out to that's right that is the spawn for the attackers that's ruins over there let me ping that and run over to blue bar to show you guys what i mean that little bullet hole all the way goes i mean trust me dude i i got a couple kills from this even if someone's all the way outside running around like i literally can't, oh wait hang on the bullet hole is right there you really really have to be looking for it to get it but by the time you even see that and notice it's a bullet hole you're already dead i'm gonna bring you guys upstairs for the next one all right so there's a couple good ones here in hookah that i want to show you guys so all the way down at 90 if you were to get right here in hookah you're able to see 90 all the way down over there see that plant right there so let me show you it is still so hard to see like that is like impossible to see and then with that bullet hole you were able to see all the way down at 90 so that is such a powerful spot now if hookahs you know if, if they're not pushing hookah i mean you're really exposed if you're lying down right here you're really exposed all right so i made another one over here too in hookah so if you were to stand up right here and get all the way over here if you make a couple holes that door right there is the aqua door so let's head on over to it that ping goes all the way to the aqua door now that one was a little high so if you were to make the bullet hole like a little lower it'd be a lot easier to shoot that one over there and then i'm gonna bring you guys over to this awesome bullet hole down in the closet next to penthouse but well, you guess the official call is bathroom whatever if you get down right here i already made a bullet hole you got a crazy nice bullet hole into uh vip and if you were to shoot out a couple to the right too you would start to be able to see the entrance right here so if an attacker were to start running in off of the balcony over here you could get them right in the feet or if you aim up high enough or you could even be standing say you were standing so watch let me let me put a, a uh, ping right there and then let's stand up all the way over here okay yeah right there if they were to run in right there you will shoot them exactly in the head and they're not gonna even know what happened that's how powerful bullet holes are now for my favorite one on this map i'm gonna take you guys all the way to south stairs over here and this is what i use all the time so all the way right here next to the right of the three paintings if you were to shoot right here with a couple bullets all the way down into there god it's so hard my a and my d key are uh, kind of touchy sometimes look that is all the way into hall of fame right there all that red right there is hall of fame okay so let me take you on over there right here bam 
That is my favorite one in this map. And also, I made another one here in VIP. This one's kind of dumb because it's uh, you're very exposed to the VIP window. But if you get down right here, you're not going to be able to see it on your phone. But that is the entrance to the whatever that room is next to Penthouse. I forget what it's called at the top of my head. But um, you're able to get right there, and it's a really good bullet hole. If you're trying to stop the person who's holding down 90 or the person who's anchoring back in there, you usually get three armor or something. All right, everybody. So that's going to end the second map here in this video. And I just noticed that there are a ton of spots that I missed. But I don't want this video to be too, too long. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe this video will be three maps. And we'll be very brief on each map. But maybe if you guys really do like this series, I want you guys to let me know in the comments. If you do like this series, do the likes, comments, whatever. Let me know because I do like making these types of videos. And I just want to know if it's something you guys are interested in. But yeah, anyways, I think if we were to go ahead with this series, I think I might make it to where I do one map per video. So that I could get like really in-depth with each bullet hole and all these different types of crazy spots to really show the best utilization of this really cheap tactic that unfortunately is here in siege all right everybody so for our final map here in this video i brought you guys over to border so i have four minutes on the clock because that's how much time siege is allowing me so i'm gonna hop right into it so for our first one here now obviously this one's not going to work if you're defending armory because you're gonna this wall's gonna reinforce but if you're not defending armory and you're just wanting to get like a really awesome kill a bullet hole right here leads all the way back to the balcony now of course this one picked right here but if you get to the side you can see it um you'll you'll see people like getting on the balcony really really good spot now this one right here in this room next to armory or within an armory connector is you're able to i made it a little bigger so it's easier to see you're able to see like the corner the end of the balcony right there so oh my god we only have three minutes now all right right here is another really really good one where did i put the bullet hole where did i put the bullet hole it's uh was that oh i was lying down that's right it's right here Bam! This window right here leads out to the east balcony over here. Really, really good bullet hole. Trust me on this one. I'm gonna take you guys back over to security over here because there's also a couple of good bullet holes in here too. Right here, you're able to see by half wall in armory. And that's where that ping is, is by half wall. So that's a really good one. And then all the way over here in server, you could lie down, make a bowl hole right here, and you got all the way to east stairs. This is a really, really, really good one for attack and defense. Trust me, that, that one will get you kills. Now, this one's a little risky because you do have the window right here, but as long as someone's not getting the window, you can get that window down in there too. So where did I put this bowl hole? Ah, right here. Look at this, so there's the X right there. I don't know, it's probably hard to see on mobile, but um, on my on my monitor, I could clearly see that window right there. A really, really good one. Now, there's one in archives right here that I want to show you. Right there gets you into... The, oh my god, I can't... Right there gets you that office's window over there, so that's really good. And this one... See, that's where that ping is right there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really trying to hurry up. I got a minute 50 seconds left before I, all these bullet holes disappear and a new round starts. This bullet hole right here, I made it a punch hole because it's easier to see on uh, for like uh, you guys watching on mobile. But that leads right here, and uh, it's just a really good spot if someone's rounding this corner because they're not going to necessarily see a bullet hole. Now that's a punch hole, so it's a lot bigger, but they're not necessarily going to see a bullet hole. Now I brought you guys down over here because I do have a uh, hole over here that I want to show you guys. So this hole right here, if we look at that little red spot, that's the fire alarm. Now if you get a little bit to the side, you can actually see out into lobby. So that was the fire alarm. If you go just slightly to the left of the bullet hole, I'm starting to run out of ammo. I'm starting to run out of time too. It's a minute left. Ah! Well, you're able to see the lobby. Okay, where do I have more bullet holes? Um, uh, uh, oh, I think I have one here in Teller's. Uh, here's one. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? it oh, it's right here. Um, nope, 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 nope. Ah, this one. Yes. This one. Yeah. So you can see all the way down by, uh, these stairs over here. I forget the call it from Iron Stairs or whatever they call it is. I forget what it is. It's not Iron Stairs. It's, I forget it's bars or whatever. Whatever those stairs are. That little bullet hole right there. Now, again, guys, like, bullet holes are so hard to see. Like, even back over here, I'm looking for it. And it's still somewhat hard to see right there on the ACOG site. Right there. I'm trying to think I have any more here, but honestly, we're running out of time here. So, um, all right, that's going to end the third map here in the video. I have the announcer yelling at me to get off. He's saying 10 seconds. Oh, my God. 
All right, well, hang on. That's gonna be the end of this third one. So let me just roll this out right here right after this guy stops yelling at me. All right, everybody. So that ends all three of our map examples. And I'm sorry it was really rushed at the second and third map because I don't want this video to be too long. And I know I already said it a couple times, but I definitely do think that when I do this series in the future that we're gonna just dedicate one, maybe two maps to each video. Cause I really do want to go more in depth with all the certain bullet holes you can do in these maps. Now I know this is a cheeky tactic. Like bullet holes really are OP and the pros utilize it way too much. And honestly, a lot of pros are calling for bullet holes to be nerfed. I don't necessarily know how Ubisoft can do that besides just making bullets not gonna be able to go through walls. Or I don't know, maybe have bullets have more destructibility so that these holes aren't so tiny. I don't know what they're gonna be able to do with it. But honestly, it's a really, it's a really OP tactic. So until Ubisoft addresses this issue, I recommend you guys utilizing any little advantage you're gonna get over your opponent, cheeky or not, is still a help. But I'm sorry, I'm still gonna keep on using bullet holes until they get nerfed. So that's it. I really hope you guys like the video. And if you learned something as well, make sure to follow me on all my platforms. We got Insta, Twitch, TikTok, all doing really well right now. Besides Insta, I feel like Insta's algorithm is really weird. Like one month I'll be doing like really well and one month I won't be doing so well. And it's really weird because I'm like posting good content. I don't know what's going on. Insta's weird sometimes. But honestly guys, I'm having a lot of fun making TikTok videos. So I highly suggest you follow me over there. I'm gonna have a lot more Rainbow Six Siege related TikTok videos coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. Also, 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 are you tired of solo queuing? Because if you are, make sure you follow my Discord server. We got a bunch of people who just love playing Rainbow Six Siege. And honestly, like five people join a day, probably more. So we're always getting new people in. Um, Xbox, PC, PS, and we're all looking to get better, give tip, and honestly just have really great gaming nights to reach those platinum diamond levels here in Siege. So if you're interested, make sure you go down to the description so you can find the link for the Discord. Lastly, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe and put on notifications if you're new. Now with all that being said, Jeppy out.